Hi, Wes Scott from Kane & Scott. Today we're gonna to talk about three reasons why debt consolidation sucks. Uh, file bankruptcy instead. Look, uh, the problem with debt consolidation, uh, there's a multitude of problems with it, but if you had to boil it down to like the three biggest problems, number one, you're a walking billboard, okay? You're a walking billboard, you're in financial distress, and your credit score goes off a cliff. Um, so that's number one. Conversely, bankruptcy is quick. Um, you know, in about a four month process, you're debt free and you move on. Second, the problem with debt consolidation is you pay taxes on debt that's wiped or forgiven. Well, that's all great, except it's kind of like kicking you when you're down, right? You don't have the money to pay the debt. Now they're going to send you the bill for the taxes on the debt you couldn't pay. It makes no sense. Um, conversely, in bankruptcy, there is no, there are no taxes on debt that is forgiven. The IRS code uh, excludes debt forgiven under a Title 11 bankruptcy, which Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy falls under. So there is no tax liability in bankruptcy. The debt that's wiped out gets wiped out tax-free. Um, third, you know, these debt consolidation programs take years to do. And so your family suffers with payments that you can't afford to pay because creditors eat first, you eat second. If you're a family, compare yourself. Let's think about this. There's a family with $50,000 in credit card debt over here. There's a family with $50,000 in credit card debt over here. This family does a debt consolidation program for six years. This family does a chapter seven, four month process, debt's gone. Who do you want to be? I mean, you get your life back in four months. They've already moved on. These people, they're suffering for six years with crappy credit, no, no doubt. When the time is right, when you are ready, reach out to Minnesota's nicest bankruptcy law firm at canescott.com. You'll be glad you did. Have a good day.